Mom is a company that restores order and serenity to people all around Colorado. Major Mom is all about organization and creating a joy and a peace in people's homes that they may have never experienced. Major Mom is on a mission to restore order to the world one household at a time. I feel the main reason that I started Major Mom five years ago was when I got out of the military, I realized that civilians live in utter chaos a lot of times, and that was something new to me. And I thought, wow, I have this natural ability to create order. It's something I've done since I was born. And so we created Major Mom to, one, teach that skill to other people, and two, use that skill for people who maybe don't have time, they don't want to learn it, they just want an environment that's nice and orderly. So we created Major Mom to help all those people out there that really truly desire and crave peace and serenity and order in their homes. We have a six page evaluation that we fill out um, once we determine the client is going to be our client and so we take them through a series of questions that are pretty, very clear about their vision, very clear about who they are as a person. For the way that you think, for your habits, for your lifestyle, things like that. Um, so, thinking back, what would you say, like growing up, what was your relationship like with organization? Was the household you grew up really organized? Was were it was not organized? Or? My mother saved every. Well, it was organized when when we went down to have to clean out her house after. I mean, we're talking three times as big as this, and she saved everything. We try to get a really clear idea of when did the disorganization and clutter start because a lot of people used to be organized and then became disorganized. So the evaluation that we give each client is totally designed to get to know them and everything that they really want to have happen in their home. So the order of priorities would be basement, basement. and then garage. garage. You know, and then the rest of it are all things that, you know, like my closet when we get upstairs. You know, it started out as a basket that had ironing. I mean, I know I've got to, come on. <laughs> I know that. It's just doing it. Right. In a nutshell, we call it the Major Mom Method. So the Major Mom Method is an organized approach to organizing. It's a three-phased method. The first phase we call picture. We go in to say your home and get a good idea of where you are today and where you want to be what you tell us you want, and so we get a good picture of that space so that might not be a bad idea to be more functional upstairs and get rid of the dining room table and put one of the big white. And then depending, um, then this zone could be like an office zone of tastefully simple, and then uh, there might be some overflow where this zone here is a transitionary zone, whether it's paper for your office or paper for scrapbooking, mm -hmm. and that way you can kind of showcase uh, around this area and then maybe have a counter in here. Phase two is plan. Just leave it so empty. we'll have to have a good idea of what you want. We come up with an so action plan go and a space plan. Mm -hmm. Desk, so like the, the front half kind of being a kid-friendly hangout area and the back half being mom, you know, mom office area. And then phase three is dig in. Start organizing, sorting things like with like. We try to get a system in place and someone supporting her so she can be keep, donate, sell, and oh, I don't know. And we have all those boxes down there so she can make a thousand decisions very quickly. And this is why people don't get their homes decluttered because they can't make a thousand decisions quickly by themselves. They don't have the support system. They don't have a system. Well, right now in the planning of the uh, office space, I've got receipts, I've got childhood um, her daughter's pictures and paintings that she'll need to go through. Yeah, and I've got some office supplies, I've got receipts and small receipts. I don't think we're full yet. I just took two. Okay, great. And then I was going to go home. Treasure step is next where we say, okay, here's all of your pants. Which ones do you want? Or for the kitchen, here's all of your baking utensils. Which ones do you want? We call it the treasure step. Pick out the ones that you really want and let's let the rest go.
Then we establish a home for everything there. Then we put it away in the proper container or cabinets and then we teach the client to start new habits. Use for all of your personal scrapbooking stuff. So we are going to fill it with everything that you like to use, all the paper, stickers, pens, whatever you would like to do. And then we created this workspace here for you to be able to sit and to design and that you also have plenty of room to be able to spread it out as well as if you need to pick it up, you're able to do so. Also, kind of another multifunction is that when you do have a creative memories, if you wanted to utilize this space also for some of the snacks, you could also just pull the chair out and also use, utilize this for some of the snacks. Right. And so the way we take our clients through it, it restores order to their home because we're actually showing them an organized approach to organizing. The process helps free the client because usually people will start organizing from the reverse end forward, if you will. So they'll start with getting a container. Now I've got all these supplies to organize. Now I've been organized. Well, they are working the method backwards, and that's why they never really feel that they get there. We actually teach them the three-phase approach, and that's why we can help so many people restore order to their environments very quickly. Sometimes we do get a few clients that experience a lot of difficulty in letting things go, <laughs> so we have this great, what we call it, treasure step questions, and so we actually help our clients determine, well, what is a treasure? And so, for example, the first question would be, you know, okay, June, you have 45 pairs of black pants, for example, or 14 crock pots. Whatever the category that's gotten really out of control, we say, what size are you right now? And do you like these pants? So we actually take them through a very non-emotional, logical sequence of questionings. Sometimes we'll look at the crock pots and say, you know, when is the last time you've okay. used so no, each of these sizes? Perfect, then we will yes. And if the answer is, and then, um, I don't know, yeah, then we walk them down the path of, let's keep the ones together. you use all the time, and the ones you aren't okay. using, let's go right. ahead and release like, yes. those okay. to someone who really However, needs it today, who doesn't have any crock pots, or someone who needs some pants. Um, who doesn't have any because of they've lost them. So we help people let go of their stuff by taking them out of the emotional realm and that attachment into the logical realm. And that helps them make better decisions. <laughs> yeah, we actually do a lot of little handy jobs when we organize, because um, there's always something that needs a little bit of repairing. So this is gonna be part of a base um, for a, a table that we're creating with all these things that we found. And so we just need to get, make it a little bit more sturdy. Well, all through the process, we get a lot of reactions from the clients. Some of it's just utter joy, pure joy. <laughs> okay, I didn't so want yeah, you to so, be worried. Yeah, we no, 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 no. They really don't understand the transformation that goes on for the whole family. Kids are getting their homework done. Kids are on routines again. I mean, really glorious things happen when you're organized. So a lot of times people have these mixed emotions of, oh, I could have had this amazing environment, this amazing home years ago, and I waited and I waited, and I beat myself up thinking, I should be able to do this myself. I should be able to do this. Well, people always think, I should be able to organize, but cleaning your home, scrubbing and cleaning, is a completely different skill set than organizing. Organizing is a very cerebral, you have to be visionary, but you also have to be detailed, and not everybody is born to organize. It is so important to keep organized because it gives you a sense of security, the calm, the peace. So when you wake up in the morning, you go right to your closet and you pick your clothes out. It's completely organized versus you go to your closet, you don't have a clue what you're going to wear because you don't really know which one of those clothes fit you. And so you just start pulling things off the rack, putting things on, or the, you know, the, the hangers. And it's so important to be organized. And people who have never experienced that serenity, that peace that comes with organization, finally experience it when they hire a major mom. And there's a really important principle out there that we teach people. The definition of disorder is a breach of peace. Therefore, 
If you have disorder in your environment, you can never have peace. Never. It doesn't work that way. You can't live in utter chaos and have this true, deep inner peace that you deserve. So getting organized is not a luxury. It's a necessity. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Easy so those, remove baskets. Yeah. You know, they can all be in sections, even ones that will fit in here. So, like, these yeah. are all of your pen, or, you know. Pens, um, uh, if there are some things that you wanted available or on display for the ladies when they come, like, they all love stickers. Right. Mm -hmm. Look at all these. We you know only what I'm saying? Hire people people who naturally can walk into a space and their brain starts putting things in order and um, moving the room around and shifting it. They can't help it when they go into a room. Put it away. And then when your friends come over to do the parties, then you, you can just continue working on your own stuff if that's what you do, or you can help them with some right. of their pages. We want people who want to serve people, and we hire everybody who has a servant's heart. I just was born to organize. I, I love it. I, I would do it for free if I could. And I'm excited to be able to start putting my talents and my abilities to help other people bring order into their own families because I know for myself that when I have order and everything in place that I'm more um, productive and I'm able to continually do the things that I'm called to do in my own life. So I would love to have the opportunity to help as many people as I can while I'm with Major Mom um, and declutter their lives and help them move forward in uh, many different ways. I think the most important thing to realize is that if you're wasting your time by looking for things that you know you own but can't find, if you're wasting money on duplicate purchase and off-site storage and buying bigger houses and bigger offices for all the stuff, if you are stressed out, if you're maybe even experiencing some safety problems like falling down the stairs because you tripped over stuff, if you're wasting your time and your money, your health is being sacrificed and your safety is being sacrificed, you need to call in the troops and get help and get it done. Because Major Mom makes organizing fun, we get the job done faster than anyone.